resident form, I am actually creating three fields called first name, last name, email field. Do we have those fields already? I'm removing all these fields. I'm creating three fields here. Mm, I want to just keep it under color field. Okay. So what did I tell you about before business rule? So before business rule will actually run, before business rule will run after the form submission, after the form submission, business rules will run as what we have discussed. So after farm submission, first the before business rules will run. Okay. So once these before business rules are run, only then the data will get stored into this database. Okay. That is what I have told you, right? So, okay. So here I have actually created three fields. Okay. So here, <clears throat> Let me just create a new demo, new, uh, let me just open new demo incident record. Okay, so I'm just filling the color here. Filling the color here. I'm not filling first name, last name, email field. Just remember this point. I am not filling first name, last name, email field. Okay, so what I am doing, I am trying to submit this one. So once I submit, right, after the form submission, before business rules will run is what we have discussed. So what I want to do is using before business rules, I want to fill these three values. Using before business rules, I want to fill these three values and I want to save the data into database because after running this before business rules, before business rules only, the data will get stored into this database, right? So here after, after submitting this one, whoever is the caller here, that particular caller, first name, last name, email should be populated through the before business rule and the data should get stored into the database. So for that, what I am doing here is I am just creating a business rule here. So we have already a business rule here, right? So now populate. caller details okay so here before insert or update before creation or update operation before create or update operation so caller is a mandatory field right okay if, if it is mandatory field they must fill in so we don't have to keep any condition here so here you have actions Whatever the requirement that we have discussed, right? That requirement, we cannot actually achieve it using these actions. We have to go for scripting. So what I'm doing here, I have to fill this particular first name field. So first name field, you will fill it using current dot u underscore first name. Current dot u underscore, sorry. first underscore name is equal to current dot 
u underscore last underscore name is equal to current dot u underscore email is equal to okay so here i am actually populating this first name last name email field values so here this is actually first name field last name field email field so here in these fields what i have to populate this particular caller values i have to populate right so here elisa elisa first name elisa last name elisa email address if you have selected able tutor able tutor first name last name email address i have to populate so in that case what i am doing is i am just taking current dot caller current dot u underscore caller so caller first name i want right so i am dot walking here as first name caller is a reference field right so reference fields you can dot walk reference fields you can dot walk this is a reference field right so if you dot walk this one caller first name so here you take first name caller last name you want last name caller email so you can just use email so you can always remember reference can reference fields can be dot walked current dot you underscore caller is actually a reference field right so that reference field if you dot walk you will use first name last name so here what i am doing i am dot walking current dot you underscore caller dot first name similar way i want i want to get last name as well last name okay call dot email okay which is fine i have just created a business rule which is before business rule so here once i submit this form this before business rule will run in this before business rule what i am doing i am actually populating the first name last name email field with the caller first name last name email values and then the data will get stored so now if you take a look at clearly here i just filled the caller value i just filled the configuration item i did not fill any value so these details i did not fill so after submitting this one right before business rule will run before business rule will fill these three values and it will store the data into database now clearly notice one thing here i'm just saving this one so did we fill these three values did we fill these three values no so this who did fill these three values before business rule so this before business rule has actually filled these three values okay understand right so after form submission after form submission this before business rule has run so this before business rule has the set the first name last name email field value and stored the values into this database 